a relation r is equal to x comma y such that mod of x minus y is equal to 8 is an example for a null relation this is a null relation if a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r implies a comma c also belongs to r then such a relation is called as a transitive relation what is a contains a is nothing but the set of all first members so that is nothing but one then one a is equal to one Hello dear students, welcome to this session of Mathematical Foundation class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Computer Science, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. In my previous class, we have discussed regarding ordered pair and the relation. Now, let us come to the types of relation. So, first of all, what is a relation? A relation is a subset of the ordered pair. Suppose if A is a set, if A is a set, then the relation R is the subset of A class A. The subset of A class A is the relation. Now, let us know regarding different types of relation. So, identity relation, identity relation means let A be a non-empty set. If A is any non-empty set, then the relation I into A defined by I into A is equal to A comma A such that A belongs to A. A comma A, 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3 is called the identity relation on A that is I into A. A comma A, all the elements A comma A belongs to A. That is, if A belongs to A, then I A is called the identity relation. So, a relation R on a non-empty set A is said to be an identity relation denoted as I into A is equal to A comma A such that for all A belongs to A. So, for all A belongs to A is called the identity relation on A. Now, let us consider for example, on the set A, on the set A is equal to A, B, C, D, then the relation R is defined as an identity relation on A. If it is A comma A, B comma B, C comma C and D comma D belongs to R, then this relation is called an identity relation. That is A comma A such that for all A belongs to A, A comma A, B comma B, C comma C. D comma D, this is an example for an identity relation. Hope you follow. Now, let us come to the next one. The next one is a null relation, null relation or void relation. So, let A be a non empty set. A non empty set is said to be a null relation. So, if null set, so let A is a non empty set, we know that this null set is a subset of A cross A, then this null set is called a null relation. That means this relation is called the null relation on A. When did we say a relation is null relation means? That means if there is no relation between any elements of the set. Let us consider for example, if A is equal to 1, 2 and 3. Let us define a relation R is equal to a relation R is equal to x comma y such that mod of x minus y is equal to 8 is an example for a null relation. This is a null relation. See what are the ordered pairs? So, here ordered pairs that is from A to A. Since here the elements from A to E is 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, then again 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, then 3 comma 1, 3 comma 2 and 3 comma 3. So, the, none of these elements will satisfy the relation R is equal to x minus y, modulus of x minus y is equal to 8. See, if you subtract 1 minus 1 is 0, 3 minus 1 is 2, again 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 minus 3 is 0. So, so none of these elements will satisfy this relation. Therefore, this is an example for a null relation. So, that is, this is nothing but A cross A is a subset of this. So, null relation is a subset of A cross A. Now, let us come to the next one, universal relation. Universal relation means it is a set in which every element of the set is related to another element. So, every element of the set are related to the another element of the set. So, every element are related, then such a relation is called a universal relation. 
So let A be a non-empty set. We know that A cross A is a subset of A cross A. Hence, A cross A is called a relation on A. This relation is called the universal relation on A. It's a type of relation in which every element of the set is related to other element. So such a type of relation is called an universal relation. Therefore, A cross A is a subset of A cross A. This relation is called an universal relation. Now next one, the very, very important types of relations are reflexive relation, symmetric relation and transitive relation. So in the examination, they may ask just define the different types of relations. So have to define null relation, identity relation, universal relation and then reflexive re relation, symmetric relation and the transitive relation. Now let us know regarding reflexive relation. These are very important. Reflexive means if A comma A belongs to R, 1 comma 1 belongs to R, 2 comma 2 belongs to R, such a relation is called a reflexive relation. A relation R on a non-empty set A is called reflexive relation. If A comma A belongs to R, for all A belongs to R. So let us consider for example, if A is equal to A, B, C, then the relation A comma A, B comma e, B is a reflexive relation. Similarly, another relation R2 is equal to A comma A, B comma B, C comma C are called a reflexive relations on A. The identity relation and universal relation on a non-empty set are a reflexive relations. So the identity relation as well as universal relation are on a non-empty set or reflexive relation. So a relation R on a set A is called a reflexive relation if A comma A belongs to R. If A comma A belongs to R, then such a relation is called a reflexive relation. Let us consider a set on the set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. A relation R is given by 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3 and 4 comma 4. This is a reflexive relation. So this is reflexive 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3 and 4 comma 4. So a relation R on a set A is called a reflexive if A comma A belongs to R, A is related to A. Now second one is a symmetric relation. What is symmetric relation? A relation on on a non-empty set A is called symmetric if A comma B belongs to R implies B comma A also belongs to R. If A comma B belongs to R implies B comma A belongs to R then such a relation is called as a symmetric relation. So that is if A comma B belongs to R implies B comma A also belongs to R such a relation is called a symmetric relation. Let us consider on the set A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3. Now let us take an example. On the set A is equal to 1, 1, 2, 3, a relation R from A to A is defined by A is equal, R is equal to 1 comma 1, 2 comma 1, 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 1. So this is an example for a reflexive relation because here 1 comma 2 belongs to R implies 2 comma 1 also belongs to R. Similarly, 1 comma 3 belongs to R implies 3 comma 1 also belongs to R. So therefore, R is a symmetric relation. R is symmetric. If A comma B belongs to R implies B comma A also belongs to R, then R is called a symmetric relation. The third type of relation is called the transitive relation. So on a non-empty set A, if A, B are any three elements, then if A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R implies A comma C also belongs to R. If A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R implies A comma C also belongs to R then such a relation is called as a transitive relation. So yet a relation R on a set A is called transitive relation if A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R implies A comma C belongs to R. Suppose for example let me take an example suppose if 1 comma 2 belongs to R and 2 comma 3 belongs to R implies 1 comma 3 also belongs to R. If this is the case then R is called a transitive relation. So if 1 comma 2 belongs to R and 2 comma 3 belongs to R implies 1 comma 3 also belongs to R on the set A. Now if the relation R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive such a relation is called an equivalence relation. So a equivalence relation means a relation on on a set A is called an equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. A relation which is reflexive, symmetric and transitive is called an equivalence relation. Very important definition. 
on a, a relation on on a non empty set A is called equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric and uh, transitive. Right. If it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, such a relation is called an equivalence relation. Now, let us know regarding anti-symmetric relation. What is anti-symmetric relation? A relation on on a non-empty set A is called anti-symmetric relation. If A comma B and B comma A belongs to R implies A is equal to B. If A is equal to B, such a relation is called as an anti-symmetric relation. If A comma B and B comma A belongs to R implies if A is equal to B, then it is called an anti-symmetric. But what is symmetric relation? A relation on on a set A is called symmetric relation. If A comma B belongs to R implies B comma A belongs to R. What is anti-symmetric relation? A comma B and B comma A belongs to R implies A is equal to B. Such a relation is called anti-symmetric relation. Let us take an example. Let us take a, this is very important type of uh, examples for 5 marks, this type of questions. You may expect for 5 marks, very simple problem. So if A is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, find the following relation from A to B. What is the condition given? R2 is equal to X comma Y such that X divides Y. X will divide Y. That means second element is divisible by first element. Now, as I told R relation is a subset of A cross A. R is equal to write down the subset of A cross A. Let us take another set. A is also equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, X divides Y. 1 comma 1. 1 divides 1. 1 comma 2. 1 divides 2. 1 comma 3. 1 divides 3. 1 comma 4. 1 divides 4 and 1 divides 5. Right. So, next let us take 2. 2 will not divide 1. 2 comma 2. 2 divides 2. 2 comma 3 we cannot take. 2 will not divide 3. 2 divides 4. 2 comma 4. Right. 2 comma 4. Again, next 2 will not divide 5. Let us take 3. 3 comma 1. We cannot take 3 comma 1. 3 will not divide 1. 3 comma 2. Not possible. 3 comma 3. 3 will divide 3. And 3 comma 4 and 3 comma 5 is not possible. Again, take 4. 4 does not divide 1, 2, 3. 4 divides 4 and 4 will not divide 5. Similarly, 5 comma 1, 5 comma 2, 5 comma 3, 5 comma 4 is not possible because 5 will not divide 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, 5 will divide 5. So, this is an relation R2. So, R2 is equal to 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 5, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 4, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 4, 5 comma 5. So, 1 divides 1, 1 divides 2, 1 divides 3, 1 divides, so 2 divides 2, 2 divides 4, 3 divides 3, 4 divides, 5 divides 5. So, that is the condition. X divides, so first element will divide the second element. From this, what do you say? So, straight away clearly we can say that R is a reflexive relation. R is reflexive. What is the condition for reflexive? A comma A belongs to R. See, 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 4, 5 comma 5. So, this is an example for a reflexive relation and not transitive because 1 comma 2 is there but 2 comma 1 is not there, 1 comma 3 is there, 3 comma 1 is not there. This is not symmetric. Now, let us take an example. Therefore, this is a relation. It is a reflexive, not a symmetric. Now, let us take another example. Given A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. A to B. Consider B is also equal to A. Consider the same elements. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, what is the condition given? y is equal to x plus 3. Now, let us take when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 plus 3. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Let us take x is equal to 3. If x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, but does not belongs to b. Does not belongs to the set b. b is also equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, the relation R is equal to, R3 is equal to, when X is equal to 1, Y is equal to 4, when X is equal to 2, Y is equal to 5. That is all. This is the relation, 1 comma 4 and 2 comma 5. See, A to B, B is also equal to, consider A to A or A to B, the values of B are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, Y is equal to X plus 3, when X is equal to 1, Y is 1 plus 3 is 4, when X is equal to 2, Y is equal to 2 plus 3 is 5. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 6, but 6 does not belong to the set B. Therefore, the relation is 1 comma 4 and 2 comma 5. That's all. 
Next, let us come to the next problem. If A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, find the relation from A to B where x comma y such that x is equal to y. So here also A is equal to the same elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and consider B is equal to A itself, A to A that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now what is the relation given? R is equal to x is equal to y. The relation is nothing but x is equal to y means 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4 is not possible and again 2 comma 1 is not possible, 2 comma 2 because 2 is equal to 2. Similarly, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 4 and 5 comma 5. This is the relation because 1 is equal to 1, 2 is equal to 2, 3 is equal to 3, 4 is equal to 4 and 5 is equal to 5. You cannot take a 5 comma 1 because 5 is not equal to 1, 3 comma 4, 3 is not equal to 4. So this is an example for a reflexive relation, right? Now let us take another example. The relation is given if r is equal to 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5, 1 comma 6 and 1 comma 7. So find the elements of find A and B. Write down the elements of the set A and B. What is A contains? A is nothing but the set of all first members. So that is nothing but 1, then 1, A is equal to 1. Where is B? B is nothing but B is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. That is all. We have to find the domain and range. What is the domain? Here domain is nothing but the set of all first elements. Domain of R is nothing but set of all first element that is 1 and the range, range of the relation R is equal to set of all second elements. This is called the range R is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is it. Now let us come to the next problem. R is equal to x comma y such that y is equal to x cube where x is a positive prime number less than 10. Prime numbers, prime numbers less than 10, less than 10 are 2, 3, 5 and 7, right, 2, 3, 5 and 7. So what is the condition given? R is equal to x comma y, x comma x cube, that is all. So one, 2 comma 2 cube is 8, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 3, 3 comma 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 3 is a 27. Again 5, 5 comma 5, 5 is a 25, 25 into 5 is 125 and 7, 7, 7 is a 49, 49 into 9, that is it. So, 7 comma 343, that is it. So, 1, 2 comma 8, 3 comma 27, 5 comma 125 and 7 comma 343 is the relation such that x comma x cube, that is it. So, these are few problems based on uh, relations and uh, types of relations. So, you got an idea regarding types of relations. That is all regarding today's session. Let us meet with the different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.